First of all, congratulations. Thank you. I think it's, it's, it's a triumph for a lot of people, including you. Yes, I feel mm -hmm. lucky to be part of it. I've been waiting a long time for you in this kind of role, in this kind of movie. You know, since 76 yeah. or 75, 74. since life, 74, 74, Lifeguard. Yeah. When that movie came out. Thank you. Those of us who knew said, this is the guy. Let's just make way because we're going to be living with his stardom for the next two, three, four decades. You made us wait a long time. Well, I don't know that I had everything to do with making you wait. Well, I bet you had you know, something to do. It takes a while. It takes some of us longer than the rest of us. Yeah, know. but I bet you had something to do. I was a late bloomer. Yeah, I probably did. I talked too much. You know, that's what I had to do with it, man. You know, I don't know. I don't know what I had to do with it. What was it like? I, I read that you were nervous when you first started shooting Mask. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. After 15 years to go into a meeting and have Peter Bogdanovich sitting across the room for me and sent me for this picture during the course of this hour and a half that I talked to him, you know, that, that really immediately just pumped me into a whole other thing that I'd never felt before, you know. For the first time, I was involved with some real high-class movie makers. You have this cowboy aspect about you. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. I came down here when I came down to L.A. I wanted to do westerns. And that, uh, there's a lot of similarities in Gar and one of these, and this guy in the Yellow Rose or mm -hmm. these other characters. But bikers and cowboys have a lot, a lot of similarities. Why'd you want to be a cowboy actor? I don't know. I saw too many movies when I was a kid. You know, that was the fantasy. I wanted to go down there and play cowboys and Indians, you know. I wanted to do it since I was a kid, like I said, 10 years old. You know, I used to go to the theater on the weekends and sit in there and get turned on by the movies or whatever happened and think, God, I'd, I'd like to try that someday. You know? mm -hmm. So you got out here mm -hmm. and the Western died. The Western stopped being made right after I got to town, yes. I tried not to take that personally either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell me a little bit about this woman you married. This woman I married, the love of my life, Catherine. Catherine Ross, married Catherine Ross. Been going with Catherine since 1978. You married the girl of all our dreams from The Graduate. Yeah. That movie, yeah. You got something going for you. I mean, here I am sitting here buttoned up like an accountant. You got your boots on, you got your Harley jacket on, mm -hmm. you're in a successful movie, you married the beautiful woman, you have a wonderful baby. Huh? Real glutton, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How much more can you I stand? It, I hope it doesn't all give me a bellyache. <laughs>